guys welcome back to another chemistry group video where today i have something interesting to do with sugar and sulfuric acid i already tried it it works pretty good so this is sugar i did not powder it because i do not want the reaction to go out of control so it is sugar i can eat it and it is sweet obviously so i got this tiny beaker and i'm going to put some sugar in there a little more and i wet the cup because this reaction is an exothermic reaction and i will write the whole reaction down when i reach home i'll just keep it in the sink and pour some concentrated sulfuric acid on it now you can watch it in slow motion so now i mixed it and as you can see it has gone black now it is going really really slowly so i'll put it in time lapse <laughs> guys be careful it releases some smoke as you can see and that is not good for your health <laughs> now i'm going to step back from it and put some uh, baking soda water on it to neutralize the acid and what you got to say that is cool guys i just dumped some sodium hydroxide pellets on it and here is what you are left with this is actually pure carbon and it is covered the whole beaker and there is some sulfuric acid still inside it and some sulfuric acid still in the drain and it hurts my fingers till but the reaction is now over and you can start cleaning up so i'll do that right now the responsible chemist it was my job to clean the beaker so i tried i passed some sorts and i just can't get these out so be careful which container you use that will be it and now i'm going to go back home and tell you the equation get ready so guys this was the reaction between sugar that is c12h22o11 sulfuric acid to give 12 carbon that form the carbon lattice 11h2o plus what did i write steam i meant H H2O plus acid. This same thing and heat. This was an exothermic reaction. So the reason why I wrote H2O plus acid because some of the H2SO4 is not completely reacted with the sugar. Also, I could have wrote sugar over here, but that would just be meaningless. So yeah, some of it does not react and mixes with the water. so that is different reaction but it comes under the same process so the carbon when when the sugar was dehydrated i mean sorry when the sugar was dehydrated by the h2so4 all of the water was taken up leaving a pure structure of carbon so you know that sugar is a carbohydrate and when you dehydrate carbohydrates using a dehydrating agent such as sulfuric acid you are left with the carbon if some of it does not react both of these products or one of them which acts as the limiting reagent the limiting reagent is taken up and the material in excess is left over so this uh, my reaction was not stoichiometrically correct and this outcome is not justified i don't know whether it was acid that was left over or the sugar that's why and plus adding uh, the sodium hydroxide tablets what the hell happened to my n adding the sodium hydroxide tablets did nothing whatsoever to this reaction it was just to neutralize this acid hope you enjoyed please like share and subscribe thank you